Hey guys, I'm Akash from Public Connect team and in this video we will discuss how to check if WooCommerce webhooks are working or not. So a lot of users were complaining that they are facing some issues while receiving response from WooCommerce webhook. Either the response is delayed or they are not receiving any kind of response at all. So in this video we will figure out what can be the possible issues and how you can solve it. So let's begin with our process. Okay, so as you can see here, I have created a workflow in Public Connect. In this workflow, I have selected WooCommerce as a trigger application and new order created was our trigger event. And we using this webhook URL given by Public Connect, we will make the connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect. And now we will test it. So there are three major cases of not receiving a response or the three major issues that you users face. The first one is delayed response. That after firing of the trigger, after happening on the event in WooCommerce, for example, a new order creation after receiving a new order in WooCommerce, the response which they receive from Webhook and Public Connect is delayed. So what can be the issue and how can we figure out this problem? Let's see. So first we will add this Webhook URL in WooCommerce. We'll just copy it from here. Go to a WooCommerce homepage from the left side Go to settings over here. After going to settings, go to advanced and as you all know how to add a webhook. Select webhooks over here. Okay, now just click on add webhook and we will add the webhook URL. Let's give this webhook URL a name, for example, Public Connect. This is the name. The status of this webhook is now active. The topic is, for example, order created. Let's paste the webhook URL over here, which we have copied from Public Connect, and click on Save Webhook. So just now using this webhook URL, we made the connection between WooCommerce and Public Connect. Now let's fire this webhook and let's see whether we instantly receive the webhook response in Public Connect or not. So let's get back to Public Connect. Click on this Recapture Webhook Response button over here. And after that, we will go to our WooCommerce store. So let's visit my WooCommerce store. This is the store. And here we will place a new order. Just click on this product, for example, this is the black t-shirt. We are going to place an order for this. Click on proceed to check out. These are the details of a dummy user, a dummy customer. For example, test dummy. This is the name of the customer. A dummy customer, a dummy address, and dummy contact details as well. Let's click on place order. And yes, we can see that the order is now successfully placed. Now, because we have connected Pavli Connect and WooCommerce using Webhook URL, we will see that we will receive the order response in Pavli Connect as well. So we have placed this order at 13.03, means 1 p.m. in the afternoon, the order is now placed. Now let's see at what time we receive the Webhook response in Pavli Connect. So let's wait for Webhook response over here. And yes, we can see that we have just now received the Webhook response of that new order. And the time now is 13.04 means within a minute we have received the response from WooCommerce of a new order in Public Connect. Now usually right now we observe that it took a time of 30 seconds to 1 minute to receive the response. But sometimes some customers are facing issues while receiving the response and they are getting the a delayed response. The response can be delayed by 10 minutes, 15 minutes or up to 30 minutes of delay in the response. So how can we figure out? So basically whenever WooCommerce sends some kind of webhook data to some other application, for example, to Pavli Connect, it creates a log of that data. So we will basically check the log that at what date and time actually WooCommerce sent the data. So let's go to WooCommerce for that. We'll go to WooCommerce homepage. And from the left side, uh, below settings, we have status option over here. Just click on status over here. After clicking on status, on the top side here, we have an option named as logs. Just click on logs. And after that, here in the drop down, we can see the days on which the logs are created. So we will scroll down and we will select today's date in the log section. Just select today's date, that is 16th of August and click on view button over here. And after that, we can see that all the logs of today can be seen over here. So in this log section, we can see all the logs, all the data which are sent using webhook from our WooCommerce store to Pavli Connect or some other site can be seen over here. So in this log, we can see that here the first log, it shows that the data is sent. So here we have the webhook delivery. Then after that, we have this time, the date and time at what date and time the data is sent. And we have the webhook URL on to which webhook URL the data is sent. So basically guys, this is the same webhook URL which we have in this workflow over here. After that, we will check the time. 
So the date and time over here is in UTC time format. So basically the time which I have shown you that is 1 3 p.m. is basically IST Indian Standard Time. But in logs the time is present in UTC time format which is 5 30 hours behind the Indian Standard Time. So when you will add 5 30 hours in UTC time zone means in this time zone you will get current time of India that is Indian Standard Time. So we will see that this is the same date the today's date that is 16th of August and this time this is the same time in UTC time format. So when it is 1 p.m. in Indian time zone according to Indian time zone in India it is basically 7.30 in according to UTC time zone or should I say Indian time zone is plus 5.30 hours from UTC time zone. So we have the same time. Then we have the response which is sent. So this is the response guys this is the body of the response and we have this order ID that is 56549. So let's check our public connect response and here on response we will see the first responses of ID and that is 56549 the same order ID. So it is showing us that WooCommerce sent the data at this date and time, this date and time. And instantly in Public Connect, we have received the response at this same date and time. So we placed the order at 1, 3 p.m. Uh, means basically 7.33 p.m. Uh, 7.33 a.m. in UTC time zone in this time format. And in the within a minute, the WooCommerce sent the data and Public Connect received it. So if you're getting some kind of delay in receiving the data, like right now in this video, we have instantly received the data. But if you are facing some kind of delay, like the delay of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 50 minutes, or any kind of delay in receiving the webhook response from WooCommerce, you can basically check these logs that at what date and time WooCommerce actually sent the data. So usually what happens, the data is sent after some time from WooCommerce itself. So that's why you receive a late webhook response in Public Connect. So this is the first condition of a delayed response that if you get a delayed response, then you can check the logs in your WooCommerce account. And here in logs, you will find the exact date and time that at what date and time WooCommerce actually sent the data. Now the second condition or the second issue which is faced by user is of not receiving any kind of webhook response at all. So getting a delayed response is a different thing that after some time you are getting the response. But some customers are complaining that they are not receiving any kind of webhook response at all. So guys, this is the same process the, to figure out this thing that whether you are receiving a response or not, you just have to follow the same process. Come to WooCommerce, go to status and check the log. And if you are not getting any kind of new log of new sending data in over here, that if WooCommerce is not showing any long log of sending data, that means this is an issue from WooCommerce side that WooCommerce is not sending any kind of webhook data. So basically, if you are not receiving any data in Public Connect, and you can also see that there is no log of sending data. Like right now, we can see a webhook delivery log. But if there is no log of sending data in this log section in WooCommerce, that means WooCommerce actually didn't send the data at all. So that's why you haven't received the data in Public Connect. So this is the second condition. And in this condition as well, you just have to check the log. Now here arises the third condition. That is if the log is created in WooCommerce, that WooCommerce in log section showing that the webhook data is sent, but still you haven't received any kind of webhook response in Public Connect. Now this situation occurs guys, because some of the hosting providers actually blocks the outbound webhook URL. They don't allow to send the data to some outbound webhook URLs. That's why the from WooCommerce end, WooCommerce is actually sending the webhook data. That's why we can see that in logs, but your hosting provider is not physically actually sending the data to that webhook URL. That's why you can't receive the response in public connect. Then how you can check that? Now to check that, we will basically use webhook.site. We will just go to a browser and search for webhook.site. Just enter and you will reach to this website. At this website, you will also see a webhook URL. This is the webhook URL. Just copy this webhook URL from here. Go to your WooCommerce store and add this webhook URL in your WooCommerce store. So in a new tab, I will open the settings page and we are going to add the webhook URL, which we have received from this webhook.site over here in our WooCommerce store. And after adding that guys, we will basically fire this webhook response. We will basically get some response from WooCommerce in Public Connect as well as in webhook.site. And if we receive the response in both the places, that means webhook response basically is working perfectly fine. But if we don't receive the response in Public Connect and as well as we don't receive the response in webhook.site as well guys, 
That means that actually WooCommerce is sending the data, creating the log, but your hosting provider is actually blocking that data because they block the outbound webhook URL. Now to solve this problem, you have to actually contact your hosting provider guys, and you have to get that outbound webhook URLs unblocked. Now first, let's check it that how we're going to test it. We'll go to a webhook page, just click on webhooks. After that, here we have the public connect webhooks. Let's add another webhook over here. And we will give this webhook URL, for example, name as webhook.site. So this is the name of the webhook URL. Let's activate this webhook URL. It will be, this webhook will be for the same topic, that is order created. And let's paste this webhook URL, which we have copied from webhook.site. After pasting it, let's click on save. And the connection is done. We have successfully added another webhook URL in our WooCommerce store that we have received from webhook.site. And here in webhook.site, we have received that confirmation response as well. Now guys, after doing this, we will just get back to public connect. Let's click on this recapture webhook response button once again. Let's click on it. And guys, we will see that it is showing us waiting for webhook response. And webhook.site is also waiting for response. Now we are going to place an order, a test order once again. Let's go to a WooCommerce store once again, and let's place an order. And we will see that because right now my WooCommerce store is sending data perfectly. We will see that as you place the order, the details of the order will be sent to the both of the application, Pabli Connect as well as to webhook.site as well. So let's check, let's go to a WooCommerce store. This time we'll order this RM Press for example. Let's scroll down and click on proceed to check out. These are the details of the same dummy customer. Let's click on place order. And the order is placed. Now we have successfully pl placed an order, a test order in our WooCommerce store. And because we have added the webhook URL from Pabli Connect and webhook.site, the details of these same order will be sent to both of these applications. So in Pabli Connect, we will see the response that whether we receive the webhook response or not. Let's wait for a few seconds over here. And yes, we can see that we have received a response in Pabli Connect. So we have received a successful response in Public Connect of a new order using the webhook URL from WooCommerce. Now also we have added of the webhook URL from webhook.site and in webhook.site as well, we can see that we have received the response of the new order. And the order ID in both the responses is same, 56550. This is the order ID which we have received in WooCommerce and same order ID is over here, which the response in which we have received in Public Connect. Now guys, we will check the logs as well. So we will come to our logs section in WooCommerce. This is the logs page. Let's refresh this logs page over here. Let's change the date, 16th of August, and let's click on view. Now we can see that in logs page, we have the log of webhook delivery. So this is the log of webhook delivery of previous response. We will scroll down. And after that, we will see the log of webhook delivery of this response. So this is the webhook delivery log, and this is the webhook URL, which we have added from webhook.site. So this is the same webhook URL, which we have copied from here and added in our WooCommerce account. And guys here in this webhook URL, in this log, we can see that WooCommerce has successfully sent the data. In log section, we can say that the WooCommerce has successfully sent the data and we have received the data in webhook.site. Also, this is the uh, response of same order ID that we can see the same order ID. After that, we will scroll down and we will see that the same order details is also sent to webhook delivery is uh, log is also created for public connects webhook URL as well. So it is showing us this log is showing us that data is successfully sent to public connect as well as to webhook.site. Now, if the third condition arises that the log is created for public connect of sending the data to public connect, but in public connect, you haven't received the response. So you can use this technique. You can use webhook.site, get the webhook URL from webhook.site, add the same webhook URL into your WooCommerce store and basically fire the trigger. Just get the trigger event once done. And if you don't receive the re response in public connect and also you don't receive the response in webhook.site, this means that the WooCommerce is actually sending the data, but your hosting provider is not allowing the data to flow because it is blocking the outbound webhook URLs. So you just have to contact them, your contact your hosting provider to get this issue resolved. So guys, these are the three situations which are usually faced by the customer while receiving the webhook response from WooCommerce. So if you have any other doubt or any other query or any other issue regarding it, you can contact us at forum.pabli.com 
And also, if you want to share the comments or details, you can comment on this video as well. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you.